Hello everyone and welcome to this British and American history lecture series. Don't forget to support this channel by like, share and subscribe and also to buy the best merch from my store from which I put a link on the description of every lesson. These new courses from more advanced themes all related to the exciting world of English grammar will be set on Fridays until its completion so let's dive right in. Neolithic Britain the Neolithic period, or New Stone Age, marks a transformative era in Britain's prehistory, characterized by the introduction of agriculture, permanent settlements, and significant cultural developments. Spanning from around 4000 BC to 2500 BC, the Neolithic saw the gradual transition from hunter-gatherer societies to farming communities, laying the foundations for complex societies. Key Developments Introduction of Agriculture Timing and Spread Agriculture began around 4000 BC, introduced by migrating farming communities from continental Europe. The process was gradual, with farming practices spreading across Britain over several centuries. Crops and Livestock Early Neolithic farmers cultivated cereals such as wheat and barley and domesticated animals like cattle, sheep, and pigs. This shift provided a more stable and reliable food source compared to hunting and gathering. Permanent Settlements Village life, the establishment of permanent settlements became more common. These villages often featured rectangular timber houses, which provided durable shelter and storage for surplus produce. Notable sites Skara Bray, Orkney, one of the best preserved Neolithic settlements, with stone built houses connected by covered passageways, showcasing advanced architectural skills. Windmill Hill, Wiltshire, an early causewayed enclosure used for communal activities, storage, and possibly ritual purposes. Monumental architecture. Megalithic constructions. The Neolithic period is renowned for its large stone structures, including henges, stone circles, and tombs. These constructions likely had significant social and ritual functions. Key examples. Stonehenge. Constructed in several phases between 3000 BC and 2000 BC, Stonehenge is an iconic stone circle whose purpose is still debated, though it likely served as a ceremonial site. Avebury, another massive stone circle in Wiltshire, part of a larger complex including avenues and burial mounds. Burial practices. Communal tombs, the construction of large burial mounds, or barrows, indicates complex social structures and beliefs about death and the afterlife. These tombs were often used for multiple burials over generations. Types of tombs. Long barrows. Early Neolithic communal burial sites, such as West Kennet Long Barrow, often featured chambers for the remains of several individuals. Passage graves, such as Newgrange in Ireland, which, while outside Britain, influenced similar British structures like Maysho in Orkney. Material culture and art. Pottery. The Neolithic saw the widespread production of pottery, used for storage, cooking, and possibly ritual purposes. Early pottery was often decorated with incised patterns. Tools and technology, advances in tool making included polished stone axes and flint tools. These improvements facilitated farming, woodworking, and construction activities. Art and symbolism, artifacts such as carved stone balls and decorated pottery indicate a rich symbolic and artistic culture. Regional variations, Southern England, Dense settlements. Southern England saw the development of numerous large settlements and ceremonial complexes. The region's rich soils and favorable climate made it an early center of agricultural innovation. Prominent sites. The complex at Avebury and the surrounding landscape, including Silbury Hill and West Kennet Long Barrow, reflects a highly organized society with sophisticated engineering capabilities. Scotland and Orkney. Unique architectural styles. In regions like Orkney, stone was more commonly used due to the lack of timber, resulting in unique and well-preserved structures like Scara Bray. Ceremonial sites, the Ring of Brodgar and Maysho Passage Tomb are examples of Orkney's rich Neolithic heritage, highlighting regional variations in monument construction and use. Wales, mountainous terrain, the rugged landscape influenced settlement patterns and monument construction. Megalithic tombs, such as Bryn Celli DDU on Anglesey, demonstrate regional adaptations in burial practices. Ireland. Close connections. While not part of Britain, Ireland's Neolithic culture had significant influence on and shared many similarities with British practices, especially in megalithic architecture and ceremonial sites. Social and economic organization. 
Emergence of social hierarchies. Wealth and status. The accumulation of surplus food and the construction of large monuments suggest emerging social hierarchies. Certain individuals or groups likely held higher status, possibly linked to religious or political roles. Communal activities. The construction of large communal projects, like henges and barrows, indicates organized labor and collective social efforts. Trade and exchange networks. Raw materials. Evidence of long-distance trade in materials such as flint, stone, and pottery shows the existence of extensive exchange networks. For example, polished stone axes from the Langdale quarries in Cumbria were widely distributed. Cultural exchange. The spread of farming, technology, and cultural practices across Britain highlights significant interaction between different regions and communities. Summary. The Neolithic period in Britain was a time of profound change and innovation, marked by Agricultural revolution. The adoption of farming transformed societies, leading to more permanent settlements and a stable food supply. Monumental architecture. The construction of henges, stone circles, and burial mounds reflects advanced engineering skills and complex social and religious structures. Regional variations. Different regions developed unique adaptations and styles, contributing to the rich diversity of Neolithic Britain. Social organization. The emergence of social hierarchies and communal projects indicates increasing social complexity and cooperation. Trade networks. Long-distance trade and cultural exchange facilitated the spread of ideas, technologies, and materials. Neolithic Britain laid the foundations for the subsequent Bronze Age, with its innovations and social structures shaping the future trajectory of British prehistory. Timeline of Neolithic Britain. 4000 BC, Introduction of Agriculture. Event. Farming practices begin to spread into Britain from continental Europe. Significance. The transition from a hunter-gatherer lifestyle to agriculture marks the start of the Neolithic period. Early farming communities cultivate cereals like wheat and barley and domesticate animals such as cattle, sheep, and pigs. 3800 BC, construction of early causewayed enclosures. Site example, Windmill Hill, Wiltshire. Significance, causewayed enclosures are among the earliest large-scale communal structures. They likely served multiple purposes, including social gatherings, trade, and ritual activities. 3700 BC, establishment of permanent settlements. Site example, Skara Bray, Orkney. Significance, Skara Bray, a well-preserved stone-built village, provides insights into daily life, housing structures, and community organization. Its houses have interconnected passages and stone furniture, indicating advanced architectural skills. 3500 BC, construction of long barrows and chambered tombs. Site examples, West Kennet Long Barrow, Wiltshire, Maysho, Orkney. Significance, these burial monuments reflect complex social and religious beliefs. Long barrows served as communal burial sites for multiple individuals, suggesting an organized approach to death and remembrance. 3300 BC, development of megalithic architecture. Site example, Stonehenge, initial phases. Significance, the early construction phases of Stonehenge involve earthworks and wooden posts. This site evolves over centuries into a complex stone circle, indicating advanced engineering and significant communal effort. 3200 BC, Skara Bray's peak occupation. Significance, the village of Skara Bray reaches its peak, showcasing advanced stone construction techniques and sophisticated living arrangements, including storage and drainage systems. 3000 BC, expansion of megalithic structures. Site example, Avebury, Wiltshire. Significance, the construction of Avebury, one of the largest stone circles in Europe, highlights the increasing scale and complexity of Neolithic ceremonial sites. Its associated features, such as avenues and smaller stone circles, suggest intricate ritual practices. 2800 BC, development of henges. Site examples, Durrington Walls, Wiltshire, Thornborough Henges, North Yorkshire. Significance, henges are large circular earthworks often associated with wooden or stone structures. They are thought to have served as ceremonial or social gathering places, reflecting sophisticated social organization. 2700 BC, construction of passage graves. Site example, Brincelli DDU, Anglesey. Significance, 
Passage graves, like Brincelli DDU, feature a central burial chamber accessed by a long passage. These structures indicate a continued focus on communal burial practices and complex rituals surrounding death. 2600 BC, Final Phases of Stonehenge. Event, Erection of the Iconic Sarsen Stones and Bluestones. Significance, the completion of Stonehenge's stone circle demonstrates advanced planning, transportation, and construction techniques. The site's alignment with solar events suggests sophisticated astronomical knowledge. 2500 BC, Transition to the Bronze Age. Event, Introduction of Metalworking Technologies. Significance, the advent of bronze tools and weapons marks the end of the Neolithic period. This technological shift leads to new social dynamics and the development of more complex societies. Summary. Neolithic Britain was a period of profound transformation, marked by significant events and developments. 4000 BC, introduction of agriculture, transition to farming and the start of the Neolithic. 3800 BC, early causewayed enclosures, communal structures for social and ritual purposes. 3700 BC, permanent settlements, development of villages like Skara Bray. 3500 BC, long barrows and chambered tombs, complex burial practices. 3300 BC, megalithic architecture, early phases of Stonehenge construction. 3200 BC, Skara Bray's peak, advanced stone-built village life. 3000 BC, expansion of megalithic structures, construction of large sites like Avebury. 2800 BC, Henges, development of large ceremonial earthworks. 2700 BC, Passage Graves, continued focus on communal burial practices. 2600 BC, Stonehenge completion, iconic stone circle construction. 2500 BC, Transition to the Bronze Age, introduction of metalworking technologies. These events reflect the major cultural, technological, and social changes that characterized Neolithic Britain, setting the stage for the subsequent Bronze Age. And that is all for this lecture. I hope that was of your liking and enjoyment. It is always important to say that the reason for the existence of this channel is to provide you the public with the best information regarding English grammar and English culture and for you that have been engaged in keeping this channel alive you have my deepest gratitude. So don't forget that there are new lectures every Friday and don't forget to like, share and subscribe and to buy the best merch from my store related to this channel as well. This is English Grammar Audio Tutorials signing off.